Hey everybody, it's your boy Some Twisted. Welcome to PC Central, and today I'm gonna do the setup video for the Sharkoons. And no, I did not put them back in the box. I already made the original ones. So I'm gonna go through everything that's in this box, show you how to hook it up to your PS3, and give my impressions on using it from using the first one. So let's get into this. No, uh, no wretched unboxing today. Although this box that they did send me back is kind of wretched and beat up. So hopefully they didn't. Fuck my charcoons up. Look at that. That shit just completely falls apart. The box is not supposed to do that. So, uh, yeah. Everything's pulling the fuck out of there. So, here we have once again the diesel, diesel ass manual. Actually, although this book is very thick, there really isn't that much information in it. It's just that the sheer number of languages that it comes in. So it's really like maybe 10 pages are actually related to the Sharkoon and it basically just gives you basic information as to what all the components are. So, you know, looks like it's some serious shit. Really not that serious. Um, here we have the quick setup guide. So it basically runs through, you know, multiple connection types, whether it's the PS3, the Xbox, your computer, what have you just to get you set up quickly what we have here I believe this is the power adapter yes yeah, so this is the the power adapter as you can see it has no no actual connections on it it actually comes with three connections and you can adjust which one you put in here whether it's European, American there's a third one in here I'm not sure what it's for the manual doesn't really explain so I guess when you get it if it fits those plugs in your country, you know what it's for, but I'm not sure what it's for. This box actually is the, the connectors. So, as you can see here, I'm not sure what country that connector is for. You guys can see that. That is one. There's another. Not sure what that's about. And here is the, the North American connector. So you actually have to push this in. Let's see if we can line this up. So you actually push it in. I believe you turn it left to lock it. So now it's locked in there. If you want to remove it, there's actually a button here. You have to push that down, turn it right. Now it's unlocked so that you can interchange the three of them and let's actually get into what's what's in this box so it does look like they actually sent me a proper pair because it is wrapped up again the way the original ones were and this is what I, what I called the box of cables last time so let's go through them here you have the microphone which I'll be taking out and showing you properly um, this connect, I believe this is for the Xbox, for the volume of the mic control for the Xbox. I don't have an Xbox, so I won't be using that. Um, this, I believe, also is, is an analog audio connector, which, again, I don't need, so I won't be using. This is the USB cable that actually connects the Sharkoon to your PS3 so that you can do the voice chat. I'll be opening that up, and... Here's your optical audio cable that connects to your PS3 so you can get digital optical audio out. So I'm going to open these cables up. As I stated, uh, I'm going to show you, show you everything. This is the sound control unit. This is what controls all of the sound going in. This is what connects. You connect the headset to this, then you connect this to the PS3. All the sound comes out to the PS3 to this, then to you in the headset. Um, you have numerous buttons here. Volume down, volume up. This turns on Pro Logic. This is actually the power button. You can turn the time delay of the sounds in the game. I still haven't figured out why you would want to do this or what, or what you want to use that for, but apparently you can have certain sounds delay in the game, maybe for some kind of realism with explosions or something like that. And then you have the ProLogic volume on and off. 
the USB is what connects to your PS3 for the mic. Here's the optical audio out. And here's the connection for the analog audio for this cable, which again I won't be using because I'm on PS3, I don't need it. And here is the actual headset, ecstatic digital here. Here is the inline volume control. It actually has a lot of uh, buttons on it. So I'll be going through these. Also is the front, your rear, your center, your sub. You probably can't see it clearly because it's not on. This is to actually power on the device and to raise and lower your volume levels. Right here you have your mic on and off or mute and the volume control. They state that this volume control is only for the Xbox, but it actually does work for the PS3 as well. It raises your mic, and it also raises the volume level of the people that are speaking to you on your team. So, get to connecting this all up. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there actually are two power connectors here. Now... This one is the one that actually goes into the sound control unit. This one is the one that connects to the headset itself. So let's see if we uh, zoom in there. Give you a better look. So, I'm connecting that one to the device. See it turned on. Don't know why it was already turned on. You're then going to see on the headset is two connectors. This one is for the power. That's power. This is for your sound. So you're going to plug that to the headset right there. Then on the sound control unit itself, as you can see here, you have two actual headphone connectors. You can connect two of these Sharkoon headsets to each sound control unit. It doesn't matter where you plug it in. So I'm just going to plug that in. And as you can see, so let's just zoom out a little bit. Now your headset is on. Now you actually to turn the headset on and off, the volume button that I said is right here. You actually push it in and hold down the front speaker button and it turns the headset off. Hold it in again turns the headset on. Now when it first comes on, the headset actually is muted. You then have to push this down once to actually bring the volume up. And as you notice here, the volume levels are color coded. The first level is green. As you raise it, second level, I think we skipped. Yeah, the first level is green. Second level is blue. The third level is a sky blue. Look like that went up again, another blue, and then there's a red, which will deafen you if you try to play it at this level. So I found that playing it on green is what you're going to be able to use for marathon sessions. If you put it up to this level, probably after one round of rush on Bad Company, you'll need to stop because just the amount of sounds going off in your ears is going to start to hurt your ears. So... Also, if you want, you can change these individually. So let's say I want to change the rear. I can have that up on one. I can have that on one. And, well, you probably can't tell that the rear is on something different. So let's put that all the way up. So as you can see, there are three different colors. So each thing can be set individually on its own volume level. Or you can just set them all to the same. And as you raise and lower the volume level, each one is going to automatically jump to the next one above or below what it's already set to. Or well, like I said, you can just set everything back to the same and just raise and lower them all simultaneously. And, uh... Wow, this part's going to be a little trickier only because of how high my PS3 is. So, um, so 
I'm going to look at the, the audio out connection. Here is the digital audio out and before you try to plug this in, um, don't be an idiot and make the mistake that I made. Looking at these, it kind of looks like this is just how the cable is, but these two clear parts here are actually protectors. They come off. So looking at it, I didn't realize that immediately, and I'm sitting there trying to plug it in. While it goes into the sound control unit, it will not go into your PS3. So don't be an idiot. Take those plastic connectors off. So you actually are going to plug that in. I believe it goes, there's a little notch in there. You can see that. That goes up, I believe. That should be facing upward. And I believe it's the same for the PS3. So I'm going to set this. Uh, I'm just setting that up high. Only because my PS3 is way up here and the connection is not going to reach. See that? You're going into the back of that PS3. It actually clicks in place. Turn my PS3 on. Turn it on the ProLogic. Actually, there are a couple of settings that you have to do in the PS3 as well to get the audio to come out. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can get the TV captured so I can show you that. Go to accessories, audio device settings, C media audio, USB device, mic level is all the way up. So you are now going to go. sound settings, audio output, you're going to select optical digital, and then you're going to select Dolby and DTS 5.1 so that you're getting the surround sound. So the audio should be set up now. So, now I'm going to test this out to make sure that the sound is working so now I'm gonna plug the mic in so the left side of the mic this actually plugs in there actually is an extra piece of plastic on the mic right there and if you look on the headset there's a little dot right there I don't know if you can see that you line that extra plastic piece up with the dot when you're first putting this in and then you twist it to lock it in place Now, the headset is very comfortable, this piece very padded, the earpiece is very padded, it also rotates around the headset, so you can turn this up and down. Now I find that, now as you can see, if I put it this way, this looks correct, but because of the weight of this, this part is actually all the way in the back of my head here, which is barely holding it. And since my TV is up high, as you can see, if I sit back and recline and try to sit and play like this, this will eventually fall off my head. So I rotate it forward so that it's catching more of my head and it's comfortable. But you see the mic looks like it's out of place. So I actually just bend the mic up this way. That might look retarded, but it works very effectively and the headset is not going to move. It's not going to go anywhere. After using these, they actually are very clear. They very are very robust with the sound. You do get immersed into the game. And you do hear a lot of things that you wouldn't have heard otherwise. In Bad Company, I can hear, obviously, people trying to sneak up behind me. You can even hear tanks and ATVs and UAVs leaving from the enemy spawn before they ever show up on the map. And you can actually tell which direction they're coming from, whether they're to the left and behind you or ahead of you. Even in Modern Warfare 2, something I, I found odd that I heard on Query, I don't know if any of you know this, but there's actually a monkey on Query. I had no idea, I don't even know why a monkey would be on Query, but there are jungle sounds going off with a monkey making all types of noise in the background. And so, that's the Sharkoon Ecstatic Digital 5.1 Surround Sound Headsets. Hope you enjoyed your voice on Twitch, different PC Central. I'm out.